What am I going to here? Five of the six remaining nominees for the title of Canada's worst driver have already run our swerve course, and not one of them did it correctly. If Colin goes through perfectly, he'll be our next graduate. Actually do it. Let's do it. Graduate. All right. Okay? Have a good run. You too. Be safe. Headed for the mudslide, Colin seems more intent on posing than on driving. When he hits the mud, he lets go with his right hand and tries swerving with just his left. Let's watch that again. Colin is so focused on his one-handed swerve, he doesn't hit the brakes until he's between the boxes, so his momentum carries him right off the road. Colin is an experienced off-road driver, so this smells sort of fishy. Yeah, he's uh, terrible. He's not trying. Now, is that intentional <laughs> or is that... I don't think it was. Look ahead, look ahead. When Colin hits the gravel, he swerves back and forth straight into the boxes. It's another suspicious accident. In slow motion, you can see Colin steering toward the boxes before he skids. When he locks up the brakes, he steers to the right, then turns back to the boxes. It's like he hit them on purpose. Being an idiot again. When Colin speeds toward the final corner, he's supposed to take a 30. Scott tells him to slow down. Off gas. But Colin doesn't slow down. And when he sees the wall of boxes, he speeds up. Sweet. Sweet? This guy's not a bad driver. He's a vandal. You didn't see the wall of boxes? Um, I did. I did. And you hit the gas? Uh, yeah. That's in the heat of the moment. But 10 minutes later, Colin says this. I wouldn't just see boxes and step on the gas and say, well, let's take these out. It doesn't work like that, no. So then, what exactly happened? What happened was I came around the corner, I was accelerating, I still accelerated, and I blanked out. He blanked out? I kind of blanked out just for a second, and before I knew it, I'd hit the boxes. And if you don't want to believe that, I don't care. Jeremy will back me up. Sometimes I'll blank out just for a second. Jeremy, you, can you not back me up? That happens? Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens from time to time. I'll just blank out. I blanked out for a second, and that's what happened. That's not what he told me. You come around the corner, you saw a wall of boxes, mm. and then you gave it gas. Mm. Was he lying to me? Um, maybe I did lie. Maybe I said, oh, I tried to hit the brakes, and I didn't. What, uh, that's, I'm, a, I'm a human being, Andrew. So I once and for all, let's hear the real story. I blanked out for just a second. Just, I went fuzzy for just maybe half a second. Before I knew it, I was through those boxes. And if you choose to believe that or not, that's your choice. But I really don't care. Would you choose to believe, Colin, if you were Cam Woolley? Last episode, Sergeant Woolley learned Colin often gets out of speeding tickets by lying to police. But I usually just say, oh, I'm... Uh, late for a test for my police foundations course. Colin says he tells that lie because... I don't think cops are the smartest people out there. The smartest people out there. The smartest people out there. Today, when Colin takes the hot seat, he tries to dazzle Sergeant Woolley with his clever blank out story. Frustrated and I blanked out for a second. If you're gonna convince me now that you blanked out, then I don't think you should have a license. First time it's, that it's ever happened. So, but you're telling me for sure you blanked out? Should you be under a medical driver's license for, suspension? No, you fed us the same crap in episode three. You're doing it again. When Colin leaves, he makes a phone call and gets busted by some of our stealth surveillance devices. I happened to overhear Colin talking on his cell phone. He was bragging that he was kind of faking them. He said that he got them back. Uh, he busted up the windshield on the BMW when he ran it through the boxes. He sounded just absurdly proud of himself for having wrecked the car. Now speculation is rampant about Colin's ranking as Canada's worst driver. I really do think he will be labeled Canada's worst driver. Final three, here you come. Reserve slot for Colin. I don't think he's going to be going home. I want to go home. It's a good chance <laughs> that we'll be here, the two of us, fighting it out to see really who is the worst driver. I hear something. What's 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 that sound? Sounds like keys. Oh, that's Andrew bringing me my keys back. <laughs> it is time for the experts and I to decide who has improved enough to get their keys back and graduate. After half an hour of deliberation, we've got a hung jury. Sean, Michael. Sean, I'm saying Sean. I'm Michael. Sean. Who do you think? Michael. Again, it's like I have the sway vote. And I have an idea. We've reached the end of our fourth episode here at Canada's Worst Driver which means it's time for someone to get their keys back and drive home. It takes a very special kind of person to graduate from this establishment, a tough person. 
Jody knows that. Michael does too. But the person who will be getting their keys back this week is Colin. But Colin, before I give it back to you, yeah. I do want to say this to you. Driver rehabilitation centers just like this one have existed now for five years. We operate in nine different countries. And in the entire history of us doing this program, no one has ever been expelled from our educational course. Woohoo! You, sir, are expelled. <whistles> Jimmy, come in here. There's your key back. I'm afraid we can only help people who want to help themselves. And you clearly came here without any intention of learning anything. So we're sending Colin and his vehicle back home to his mom's house where they belong. You can get in your ride and Jeremy, you can go with him. Colin is not Canada's worst driver, but he is the most immature. Oh my God, that's oh. terrible. Colin came to rehab without any intention of becoming a better driver. Wow, you're so cool. He pulled in, wanting to show the world exactly what kind of person he really is. How fast are you going on the dirt road? Uh, buck, buck 20. And how fast is the speed limit? I think we're 60. We're doing about double today. 50, 60. 50, 60, yeah. We thank Colin for his honesty. What he's done is a valuable public service. See, this is what I like. I like driving at a normal speed of like 150, 160. What, what are laws, really? Colin proves our most important point. Namely, safe driving requires extreme focus at all times. You can't just be concerned with yourself. Sadly, you also have to be ready to avoid potentially lethal street racers like this ignorant, self-absorbed 20-year-old. Let's all hope Colin loses his license before his life.